Are you aware of the common mistakes in data science? Today, we'll dive into 30 of these pitfalls that every data scientist should avoid. From technical errors like neglecting data quality and overfitting models, to strategic missteps like overlooking domain knowledge and relying too much on automated tools, we'll explore a wide range of issues. We'll also touch on the importance of soft skills and effective time management in data science. So, without further ado, let's start with our first mistake, neglecting data quality. First up, the dangerous assumption that data is clean and ready for analysis. It's the equivalent of walking into a minefield with your eyes closed. The quality of data is paramount and neglecting it can skew your results or worse, lead to false conclusions. So remember, before you dive into analysis, always validate and clean your data. Next, we have the mistake of overlooking domain knowledge. This is like trying to solve a puzzle without knowing what the picture should look like. While data and algorithms are crucial, understanding the specific context or business domain is just as important. It can help you make better sense of the data and guide your analysis in the right direction. The third mistake is overfitting the model. Imagine wearing a suit tailored to every single contour of your body. Sounds great, right? But what if you gain or lose a few pounds? That suit is no longer a perfect fit. That's overfitting for you. It's when your model is too complex and fits noise instead of capturing the underlying pattern. It might work well with your training data but will likely perform poorly with new data. On the flip side, we have underfitting the model. This is like trying to cover yourself with a blanket that's too small. No matter how you adjust, it just won't cover you completely. An oversimplified model that cannot capture the underlying trends in data is just as ineffective. It's unable to learn from the data and as a result, unable to make accurate predictions. Lastly, let's talk about ignoring feature selection. It's akin to packing all your belongings for a weekend trip. You don't need everything. Similarly, using all available data without assessing the relevance and importance of each feature can lead to unnecessary complexity and poor model performance. So, choose your features wisely, just as you would pack only the essentials for your trip. These were our first five mistakes. Moving on to the next set. Mistake six is not regularizing models, a key step to prevent overfitting. Regularization techniques help to simplify your model, making it less prone to overfitting. They do this by adding a penalty term to the loss function, which discourages overly complex models by effectively reducing the number of features. So if you're finding that your model is just a bit too good to be true, it might be worth looking into regularization techniques like lasso or ridge. Mistake seven is poor data visualization. Now this might sound like a small thing, but it's not. Data visualizations are essential for understanding data trends, making predictions and communicating findings. An unclear or misleading visualization can lead to misinterpretations and wrong decisions. So remember, when it comes to data visualization, clarity and accuracy are key. On to mistake eight, ignoring model interpretability. As data scientists, we might get caught up in the quest for the highest performing model. But remember, a model that can't be interpreted is a model that can't be trusted. It's important to understand how your model makes its decisions, not just for your sake, but for stakeholders and end users as well. Moving on to mistake nine, which is failing to validate models properly. Model validation techniques like cross-validation are essential to ensure the robustness and generalizability of your model. They help you understand how your model will perform on unseen data, which is after all the whole point of building a predictive model. Finally, mistake 10, relying too much on automated tools. While they can be useful, especially for routine tasks, it's crucial to understand the principles behind the tools and algorithms you're using. Remember, a tool is only as good as the person using it. Don't let convenience become a crutch. Now that we've covered these, let's move on to our next five mistakes. Coming up, the 11th mistake, inadequate testing of models. Kicking off our next set of blunders, it's crucial to remember that models need to be tested under varied conditions and with different data sets. This practice ensures they are robust and adaptable. If you've been skipping this step, you might be setting yourself up for a nasty surprise when your model fails to perform in real world scenarios. Next on our list is the mistake of not updating models regularly. In the ever evolving world of data, models can quickly become outdated if they don't learn from new data. An unupdated model is like a map that doesn't show new roads. It might get you somewhere, but not necessarily where you need to go. The 13th mistake is disregarding data privacy and ethics. 
It's easy to get caught up in the thrill of finding patterns and predicting outcomes. But remember that data often represents real people with real lives. Always consider privacy concerns and ethical implications of your data handling practices. Failing to do so can lead to serious consequences, both legally and reputation-wise. Poor communication skills come in at number 14. The ability to explain technical findings to non-technical stakeholders is a skill every data scientist must master. Imagine discovering a groundbreaking insight, but not being able to convey its significance to your team or your boss. It would be like finding a treasure chest and not being able to open it. Finally, we come to mistake 15, ignoring the importance of reproducibility. Not being able to reproduce results and analyses is a major pitfall in data science. It's akin to baking a fantastic cake, but forgetting the recipe, you'll never be able to recreate that delicious success. So far, we've covered half of our list. Let's continue with the next set of mistakes. Mistake number 16, misunderstanding randomness and noise. Picture this, you're analyzing data and you spot an interesting pattern. Exciting, right? But hold your horses. What if it's just a random variation? Misinterpreting noise as significant can lead you down a rabbit hole, wasting time and resources. Remember, not all that glitters is gold. 17th, inadequate documentation. You've heard this before. Document, document, document. Yet, it's often overlooked. Good documentation isn't just for others, it's for your future self too. It's like leaving breadcrumbs to trace your steps back when you're lost in the forest of code and methodologies. So don't leave future you hanging. Document your work. Next up, mistake 18, not collaborating effectively. Data science isn't a one-person show, it's a team sport. Don't be the lone wolf. Seek input from others, especially domain experts. Their insights can help refine your models, saving time and avoiding potential pitfalls. 19th, using inappropriate metrics. It's like using a thermometer to measure wind speed. You'll get a reading, but it won't tell you what you need to know. Choosing the right metrics is crucial for model evaluation. Remember, the goal isn't just to build a model, but to build a model that works. Lastly, mistake 20, underestimating operational challenges. Deploying a model into a production environment isn't a walk in the park. It's more like a hike, uphill, possibly in the rain. You'll encounter unexpected obstacles, so plan ahead. Understand the operational landscape and prepare for potential challenges. These five mistakes, like all the ones we've discussed, are common pitfalls in the world of data science, but they're not insurmountable. With awareness and strategic action, you can sidestep these missteps and stay on the right path. Let's move on to the last 10 mistakes on our list. Mistake 21 is underestimating operational challenges. And what a blunder it is. We often get so caught up in building the perfect model that we overlook what it takes to actually deploy it in a production environment. Remember, a model that cannot be deployed effectively is as good as useless. Be sure to understand the operational landscape and plan accordingly. Moving on to mistake 22, we have ignoring model scalability. It's not enough for your model to work well with your current dataset. You should also consider how it will perform as the data grows. Don't let scalability be an afterthought. Incorporate it into your modeling process from the get-go. Next up, mistake 23, inadequate experimentation. It's tempting to settle on the first model that delivers decent results. However, exploring a variety of models and algorithms can lead to better performance and more robust insights. So, don't be afraid to experiment. Mistake 24 is a serious one, not prioritizing data security. With data breaches becoming increasingly common, ensuring the security of your data and models is more important than ever. Make data security a priority, not an option. Finally, mistake 25, failure to manage data skewness and bias. Biases in your data can lead to skewed results and inaccurate predictions. Always check your data for biases and address them appropriately to ensure the validity of your results. Now let's wrap up with our final five mistakes. A lack of continual learning is mistake number 26. In the rapidly evolving field of data science, keeping up to date with the latest trends, tools and techniques is crucial. Staying stagnant in your knowledge can lead to outdated practices and less effective solutions. Mistake 27 is poor problem framing. The way you define a problem shapes the direction of your entire project. If you misdefine it, you're likely to waste time pursuing ineffective solutions. Always take time to understand and clearly define your problem before diving into analysis. 
Next, we have mistake 28, not balancing theory with practice. While theoretical knowledge is important, data science is also about getting your hands dirty with real world data. Make sure to complement your theoretical understanding with practical applications. Overlooking the importance of soft skills is mistake 29. Communication, teamwork and problem solving skills are just as important as technical prowess. Being able to explain complex concepts in simple terms or working well within a team can greatly enhance your effectiveness as a data scientist. Finally, mistake 30 is ineffective time management. It's easy to get lost in the weeds and spend too much time on tasks that don't significantly contribute to your project's goals. Prioritize your tasks and manage your time effectively to ensure the success of your projects. Now that we've discussed all 30 mistakes, let's summarize what we've learned. So, we've covered a comprehensive list of common mistakes in data science, from neglecting data quality and overlooking domain knowledge, to poor communication skills and ineffective time management. These pitfalls can greatly affect the quality, reliability, and effectiveness of your work. It's crucial to remember that each mistake whether technical or strategic, offers a learning opportunity. Avoiding these pitfalls requires constant vigilance and commitment to continual learning. Remember, being aware of and actively addressing these challenges is key to your success in data science. Thanks for tuning in.